Dear viewers, Welcome back to our channel. Is this for real? BYD's all solid state battery, developed over six years, is finally about to hit the market. With the emergence of BYD's all solid state battery, solid state battery technology has attracted widespread attention. Solid state batteries are favored for their higher safety, energy density, and cycle performance. However, their commercialization still faces many challenges. We can't help but wonder, 1. What are the advantages of solid-state batteries compared to traditional batteries? How will these advantages affect the future development direction of electric vehicles? 2. Why are more and more companies investing in the solid-state battery industry? What potential commercial opportunities do they see in solid-state batteries? 3. When can we expect the commercial application of solid-state batteries in the automotive field? What major challenges might be faced during this process? Recently, we learned of a piece of news from inside BYD. The company is conducting on-road tests of all solid-state lithium batteries in Chongqing. This project is led by Ouyang Mingao, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and a professor at Tsinghua University with the participation of three other academician-level consultants, demonstrating its importance as a national key project. It is reported that this all-solid-state battery uses silicon-based materials as the negative electrode of the battery, and its energy density is expected to reach 400WH-kg, significantly higher than the current 180WH-kg energy density of BYD's second-generation blade batteries which means that the energy density of solid-state batteries will double. Since 2016, BYD has been working on the development of solid-state lithium batteries and holds a large number of related patents in the domestic market, leading the industry. The company has successfully produced solid-state lithium batteries based on two main technical routes of oxides and sulfides and is ready for on-road testing. According to insider sources, the first model to be equipped with BYD's solid-state battery may be a rugged SUV under its luxury brand Yongwang. BYD not only plans to use this new type of battery in its own models but also intends to provide the first batch of all solid-state batteries to other companies, possibly first supplying well-known brands such as Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, and Hongqi. In addition to BYD, over the past two years, Many companies including Nissan, BMW, CATL, NIO, SAIC, and GAC have also turned their attention to the field of solid-state batteries and have successively announced phased achievements in research and development. With the entry of leading companies in the industry, the solid-state battery industry has ushered in an investment boom. Since the beginning of this year, Many domestic and foreign companies in the solid-state battery industry chain such as Envision AESC, Blue Solutions, Wellen New Energy, Solighter, High Energy Age, Factorial Energy, InPower, and SES have attracted attention from the capital market, with investors including well-known enterprises such as Huawei, Xiaomi, CATL, Envision, Mercedes-Benz, Honda, Geely Holding Group, SAIC Group, General Motors, Hyundai, and Kia, forming a strong support lineup. Solid-state batteries are becoming the key to major automakers vying for dominance in the future electric vehicle market. Despite increasing attention to this field, controversies still exist around this technology due to the difficulty of its short-term commercialization. What are the advantages of solid-state batteries? Firstly, they replace the liquid electrolyte and separator in existing lithium batteries with solid electrolytes. Compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries exhibit excellent performance in terms of safety, energy density, and cycle life. Secondly, it is predicted that using solid-state battery technology can significantly reduce the cost of electric vehicles. Some studies suggest that once mass production is achieved, the cost of solid-state batteries may be only 40% of the current cost of lithium-ion batteries. Based on these significant advantages, solid-state batteries have become the focus of independent research and development of next-generation automotive power batteries. 
However, despite its bright prospects, the development of solid-state batteries is not smooth. The first challenge we face is the lack of high-performance electrolyte materials. Although progress has been made in some properties of solid-state lithium-ion conductors, current materials still cannot meet the comprehensive requirements for large-scale energy storage. The solid electrolyte currently used still has shortcomings in performance, and there is still a large gap compared to the requirements of high-performance lithium-ion battery systems. Furthermore, the interface treatment between the solid electrolyte and the electrode is also a difficult problem. In solid electrolytes, the transfer impedance of lithium ions is high, and the contact area with the electrode is small. The change in the volume of the electrolyte during charging and discharging processes easily leads to the instability of the interface. In addition, Solid-state lithium batteries not only have interfaces between the electrolyte and the electrode but also have complex internal multilevel interfaces, which may affect the performance of the battery due to electrochemical reactions and physical deformation. Finally, the stability problem during long-term use is a key factor limiting the long-term stability of solid-state batteries. Over time, Solid-state batteries will experience degradation of their structure and interfaces during service, but the specific mechanism of degradation's impact on battery performance is not yet clear, hindering the realization of long-term applications. To build high-performance solid-state batteries, it is necessary to start from the basic research of materials and delve into the preparation of high-quality solid electrolytes and the improvement of interface compatibility and stability. For solid-state batteries, we need to start from the research on materials and delve into the preparation of high-quality solid electrolytes and the improvement of interface compatibility and stability, from battery monomers to the modules of the entire battery system, to thoroughly solve the core material and interface problems and further promote process research and development to ensure that individual batteries meet high-performance requirements. Although solid-state batteries have significant technical potential, their industrialization process faces challenges. Due to the difficulty of sharing key technologies involving multiple companies' core technical secrets, engineering application technology still needs further research. In recent years, global automotive industry giants have invested funds in research and development in this field. With the participation of many companies, the market has become extremely crowded, and scientific research and technological achievements have become scarce resources. Although China occupies a leading position in the current automotive power battery field, in the development of next-generation solid-state battery technology, European, American, Japanese, and Korean companies seem to be ahead. Japan is the most advanced country in the development of solid-state battery technology, benefiting from detailed national plans and clear research and development division of labor formulated by the government. In contrast, China is still in a state of dispersed independent research and development in the field of all solid-state batteries, lacking a national plan to promote progress. Japan may be five years ahead of us in this technology field. Since 2021, the three major Japanese automakers, Toyota, Honda, and Nissan, have successively announced their 2030 strategies. These strategies not only express their firm determination for electrification transformation, but also regard the development of solid-state batteries as one of the core strategies, setting clear timetables. Among these three automakers, Toyota started its research on solid-state batteries earlier and has begun trial production. Nissan and Honda plan to build trial production lines in 2024 to prepare for subsequent mass. Production Although the pace of each company is slightly different, they all plan to start mass production before 2030. In the next five years at most, they need to complete the entire process from trial production to mass production and finally application, and the schedule is very tight. Compared with relying on external suppliers to provide liquid lithium batteries, the urgent need of Japanese automakers to develop solid-state batteries on their own is evident. Currently, lithium iron phosphate, ternary lithium, semi-solid, and solid-state batteries coexist, 
each playing different roles. Although solid-state batteries have not been widely used in the automotive field, they have already had some applications in other devices such as consumer electronics and drones. According to expert Ouyang Mingao's prediction, the large-scale commercial application of solid-state batteries in the automotive industry may be realized between 2025 and 2030. Let's wait and see which company can break through the competition first. Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it has inspired and provided value to you. As a seasoned blogger, I deeply understand that the Chinese electric vehicle market is at a turning point, and the rise of solid-state battery technology has brought about tremendous changes to this market. The debut of BYD's all-solid-state battery is undoubtedly an important milestone but we should also be vigilant about the possible market monopoly in the Chinese electric vehicle industry. With Chinese companies such as BYD and CATL leading in solid-state battery technology and the entry of the Japanese trio, the Chinese electric vehicle market may face a melee. However, behind this competition may hide the risk of market monopoly. Once a company gains absolute dominance in the field of solid-state batteries, it may have adverse effects on the entire market, including controlling technical standards, product prices, and so on. Therefore, we should consider the following questions. What impact may the monopoly of the Chinese electric vehicle industry have on the global automotive market? In a fiercely competitive market environment, how to ensure technological innovation and fair competition in the market? There are several reasons why the Chinese electric vehicle industry may monopolize. 1. Technological advantages. Chinese companies have taken a leading position in core technologies such as solid-state batteries, enabling them to have greater say in the electric vehicle market. Technological advantages are not only reflected in product performance but also in production costs and capacity, giving Chinese companies stronger competitiveness. 2. Policy Support The Chinese government has introduced a series of policies to support the development of new energy vehicles, including subsidies, tax reductions, and market access, providing a good development environment and financial support for Chinese companies, further strengthening their position in the market. 3. Market Demand The global demand for environmental protection and sustainable development is increasing and the prospects of the electric vehicle market are broad. Chinese companies can quickly meet market demand, producing large quantities of high-quality electric vehicle products, enabling them to occupy a larger market share. 4. Brand Influence Some Chinese electric vehicle brands such as BYD, NIO, etc., have already established a good brand image at home and abroad and the improvement of brand influence has also won them an advantage in market competition. In this context, the possibility of monopolization of the Chinese electric vehicle industry is increasing, and relevant departments and companies themselves need to strengthen supervision and self-discipline to ensure the fairness and healthy development of market competition. Welcome to share in the comments section. Today's video ends here, see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.